All right, so I'm coming back with some more pack openings, and I went with some 2007, some 2008, and some 2011 Sage products, the Hit and the Aspire. Being that, you know, last week I opened the Prism and the Contenders Draft Pick of 2021. So this is 2021 if you're watching this in the future. If you're watching this in the future, then these are really old. They're old right now in 2021. And not a lot of top hits out of here, but maybe something we can get to pull and maybe get graded. Some Cam Newtons. Uh, 2011 has a lot of good rookies. Even though this is a cheap set, there's still a lot of good rookies out there. And for three, four, five dollars a pack, which is what this cost, it's well worth it instead of spending three and four hundred dollars, which is what packs cost nowadays. But in 2007, you had Calvin Johnson, who was a rookie. He's a Hall of Famer now. You have Adrian Peterson, Ted Ginn Jr., Marshawn Lynch. You had a couple of good rookies from 2007. Then in 2008, you have Matt Ryan that you can pull. You have, uh, let's see, I'm going to look in this up. Joe Flacco was 2008. Not a lot of great rookies today. Jake Long was the number one pick in 2008. So I only got two packs of that. Not, not a ton of rookies there. But 2011, that's where we want to try to hit some. You got Cam Newton's, Von Miller's, A.J. Green, Patrick Peterson, Julio Jones. Um, who else do you have? A couple of other guys of note that are either still in the league or have made a name for themselves in the league. So let's get started and see what we got. It's, it's been fun to open packs again. Like I said, it's just it's so expensive to open packs these days. But at the same time, you open the 2021 Prisms or Contenders or anything that's higher in football and you get a trevor lawrence and you're looking at thousands of dollars for a trevor lawrence auto so that's where the payoff comes but you can open a 500 hundred dollar box and get 20 or 50 dollars worth of cards as well which that's not very cool at all but let's see what we can do with some old football let's pretend let's go back in the day buffet let's see what we got so robert meacham that was a saint you know, I'm always looking for some Saint and LSU players. That's pretty cool. He was a Saint. I like that. Century Club, Adrian Peterson. So that'll be an Adrian Peterson rookie. I don't know if it's worth anything. Probably not, being that it's base, no numbered or anything. Leon Hall. And all-around threat, Marshawn Lynch. There you go. That's pretty cool. All-around threat, 10, Marshawn Lynch, 5-star. No autograph, nothing like that. Just a little insert. I think there's one insert in every pack, so not too bad. I think autographs are one in four is your chances for an autograph. Century Club, Brady Quinn. I remember pulling his autograph back in the day when I was collecting, and I sold it within the first couple of weeks. Made about 150 bucks, and then he didn't really go anywhere, so I'm glad I sold that one, got rid of it when I could. Darius Walker, Aaron Ross. Hey, we got a, and then an Aaron Ross auto. Look at that. Still fun to pull autos, no matter if they're someone who's not in the league anymore. Cornerback, probably nothing crazy of note, but hey, it's an auto. Maybe we'll get a dollar or two out of that. Maybe five bucks. Be rich. Pull the next one. Let's see what we got here. It's like the last card, I think, is where you're going to find all your autos or anything special Brian Leonard another Brady Quinn Levi Brown and then nope Calvin Johnson there we go base card not too shabby let's move to the 2008s so I got two packs of 2008 Who we got here? I think the same way it's on the back, so I don't want to look at the back. Keep a little suspense in these cheap cards. Josh Johnson. They're not sticking together or anything. That's good. They had a lot of dust on them from the when they were in the store. Vernon. Golston. Golston. Jonathan Stewart, and a Century Club. James Hardy. Okay. We've got one auto. It's not bad. There's some more of these 07, 08s at the hobby shop that I go to. 
Louisiana Double Play, if you're in the area. They got a lot of these older packs that are sitting around. They have the newer stuff too. But like I said, $50 a pack or $7 a pack. Let me, let me ease back into the hobby here. Devin Thomas, Jonathan Stewart, Malcolm Kelly. Hey, at Auto, who is this? John Booty David, 39 of 100. So we got a short print of John, John David Booty. Not bad. Got a short print. I like it. I'm liking these little cheap packs, pulling some autos out of them. Been hitting. This one's got some tape on the back. I don't know why. Maybe they taped it up to know that this is a pack that had nothing in it. So they can sell it to me. Uh, I doubt it. Seems to be a good hobby shop. All these... I was nervous that they might have been picked through all these older cars. And these were just... Because they've been sitting on the shelf, maybe they were the ones that nobody wanted because all the autos got pulled out the box. But that's not the case. It seems like it's still random, which is good. Ryan Williams, Blaine Gabbert. Nick Fairley. Big time disruptor. I don't know if that's numbered or anything. I doubt it, but let's look at this. Okay. Not an auto. Let's see. Oh, nope. There's something else back here. Luke Stalker. And not numbered or anything. Nick Fairley. Defensive tackle. All right. And then these are the high series, so these are the 52 cards numbered 50 to 100. Ooh, hopefully I had all these in frame earlier. Okay. Ryan Williams. There's a Cam Newton. I need to look this up, because I think there's some blue and orange variations on the Cam Newtons. I'll look that up and make sure. Might be worth a little more if there was a shorter run variation. Steven Ridley and Randall Cobb. Pack number two, is it? Of 2011 football. There's another Cam Newton. Pre-rookie. I don't know if any of these inserts are worth a nickel. Worth a 99 cents. Look at that. Steven Paella. Got another auto. And then Stephen Paia right behind it. How about that? Oh. And Jeff Van Camp. That's nice. Defensive tackle, though. Put that there. Got another auto. Not bad. Back in the day, 2011, we're pulling these going, maybe that'll be somebody. Kind of sucks when you pull it at 10 years later and you're like, I know they're not anybody. <laughs> ah, it's fine. Jake Locker, quarterback. Back in the day, people would probably get excited about that. Got a quarterback. Well, that's not an auto, but Nick Fairley again. Running back, Anthony Allen. Not bad. I think I got an Anthony Allen in the last video. I don't remember. Steve Skelton. That's the next card. And Delone Carter. So, yeah, these packs aren't picked through. There's definitely autos in here. Let's look at the back first. Mario Fannin. Mario Fannin. Christian Ponder. I remember that name. I think everybody wanted to get that one before. Jarrell Jernigan. And it looks like we got a silver. No, it's a gold. Okay. Casey Matthews. A cam gold wouldn't be bad. Dion Lewis. The only thing about these cards is that gold is actually like it's actual grit that's on there. So any cards, you can't keep these with any other cards. I'm sure they got a lot of scratches on the cards that they're next to. So I try to keep those separate. I don't want to make a mistake and scratch a decent card. My cat and my dog are playing behind me if you need that bell, if that is. All right, let's move along. Kyle Rudolph. Let's pull that bottom card out. Sam Acho. Alan Bradford. That's the Kyle Rudolph. DeMarco Murray. Oh, very nice. A Mark Ingram, 69 of 100. 69 of 100. Got a Saint and a good one. 
I would say as far as 2011, that is definitely one of the good ones. Very nice card and a short print. I think all these packs cost me about 60 bucks, so I don't know. Maybe we got close to making our money back on that one. Take a good look at that one. I might get it graded. Just because I kind of like Mark Ingram. At one point, I think I had a Mark Ingram jersey too, so. I am a fan, Courtney Smith. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that name. Daquan Bowers, Tori Smith. Hey, a Kyle Rudolph, the right stuff. Ah, I thought it was a signature. This is one of the cards that's uh, just the printed signature on there. It's not an actual signature. I'll hold it aside though anyway. Kinda like it, Kyle Rudolph. They do write stuff signatures, but those are rarer. Um, let's see. So autograph write stuff number to 25. It's one in 1,152 packs. So getting an actual autograph on write stuff is a little harder to get. Last pack. And these are the last of the 2011s that they had in stock. So can't get any more. See a gold back there. There's a Julio Jones. The next one's the gold one. Dan Sausenberger, is that what that is? Sausenberger? Jarrell Casey. All right, can we get a good gold? I think some of the golds may have autos too, so can we get an auto on that gold? Running back, Mark Ingram. Very nice. I like these packs again. Man, I wish they had more 2011s there because these are really cool. Probably send this video if I can, maybe on their Facebook or something, send it to Louisiana Double Play. Thanks again, Louisiana Double Play, for having these in stock. Some affordable cards to choose from. But got the Mark Ingram there. Got the Mark Ingram Gold. Got the Mark Ingram Auto. That's very nice. Anthony Allen, Stephen Paella, John David Booty. Oop and an Aaron Ross auto. One, two, three, four, five autos and a Mark Ingram gold. I'll take that all day. I, I think that's awesome. I'll take that all day. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Go back and check out my last one where I opened up some more 2011 football as well as 2021 Prism and Contenders. And I'll continue to do this, I think. This, is, uh, this has been fun and we'll see where it goes. See if I get back into the hobby or if I spend my mortgage on it instead. Trying to win the lottery. Until next time.